Okay, this guide is going to be how to check for plagiarism. It's a very, very quick process, very simple, very easy. All you have to do is open up, so let's say a first draft was submitted, right? Um, you've got this first draft that's submitted. You open up the document. All you have to do is copy the content of the guide uh, or of the article itself. So you just, once you have copied the article, once you've selected it, you copy it, you go to Copyscape. This Copyscape is a plagiarism checker, um, plagiarism checker. And then the way you log in is you just use your RoboForms. So this is connected to your browser and um, you're gonna have your own login with your own browser and you'll have certain things that you want bookmarked and saved. And so this is just gonna be part of RoboForms. RoboForms automatically puts in your user and password for you, you don't need to. So you just click that and it's gonna log you in. And then paste all the text and then you search the internet. So this is gonna search for copies, internet only, private index only, private index plus internet. So this is, it's, uh, it's the internet here, search internet. There we go. Okay, no internet results, that's fantastic. Okay, so no internet results found for the text you pasted. So that is really, really great. And um, so if you were going to, let's say there, there was something that's plagiarized, assisted living uh, facilities, and um, you know, just pick anything here. Okay. So basics of assisted living. All right. And then if we were to delete all that and put this one in, search the internet. So here is what's interesting. So this is an article that has 32 internet results. And um, which means somebody, some whoever hired the person on this website, this uh, National Caregivers Library, whatever this is, and they paid somebody to give them an article, they may not have checked to see if it's plagiarized because you can get similar content and mix and match it and there's machines that do that. And so then it's not original content. And this Copyscape will check to see if there's any other websites using it. So if you look here, 32 re results that show, um, you can compare the text. For example, you, if we were to compare this one, all the, all the highlighted material is exactly what we just copied. <laughs> so, so someone just copied that entire thing either from that from this mullic gardens.net or they copied it from that other site but look at this so there's another one so um, all of these is is basically showing the look the only change here that they've made is the dollar amount <laughs> to the to the article in some of these see up oh. Uh, this one's just changed. This eight is changed. Um, this grayed out area is changed, but everything else is pretty much the same. Wow, there's a lot. Yep. And so this is where you get penalized by Google for duplicate content. Okay, so this one's a little bit less same, but you see it's exact. It still is exactly the same thing. Um, everything that's grayed out, uh, they deleted. So the care recipient. And then they just changed this to something else, be readmitted after needed, and then they deleted this word. So it's, but Google can see that this so is still the same the duplicate content. So they're gonna get duplicate content penalties. All of these websites oh, that have possibly hired a writer and said, okay, we're gonna pay for, we're gonna pay a writer to write some content for us. Well, none of our content can be, um, 
We don't do not we 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 it's a it's basically zero tolerance policy for anyone that we hire that's a writer. If they're obtaining stuff off the internet, they better not be. It needs to they be. They can study it. They can study it, but it needs to Take be notes, original. It needs to be. It needs to be reiterated. Yeah, it can't be copied here. It 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 needs to be. Fully. Di- basically redigested completely digested. so that it's it's unique. So it could be researched from somewhere, but then it really just needs to be uniquely um, projected in a unique article that that is. Because um, if not, you you notice all of these. Um, contain some aspects of that same, even just a, a whole phrase that's the same. Google picks that up, wow, it's up. Nice. It's N- not allowed. See? So this is copyscape. This is how you make sure you have really good quality, unique and the content. The article we put in there first had nothing. Yep, ours had nothing. So ours is a very unique article that's written from a u- very original source. So that is how you check and um, yeah make sure that if, if ever you come across any of it that's something to talk about with the writer, the writer and the leadership team because that's actually a pretty serious thing